Welcome back to Desktop Dungeons. We've hit a bit of a milestone here, I feel. Let's look at our adventure mode. We've completed these four, not that one, these four outlying uh, quests, and now what we have is hard quests to go into. But before I launch into these hard quests, we've got some, uh, we've got some cleaning up to do in the middle. As you can see, we've got the Beginner Brigade quest that I've been ignoring, and the Unlikely Heroes quest, which I really uh, recently unlocked. I also need to search for the Witch in the Eastern Tundra, I believe. And Dimensional Dealings is also something that needs to happen. Good thing about these quests, it lets me do some, uh, maybe some quicker runs, maybe some just runs that be a bit easier for me. Uh, I feel like these hard things, I'm going to have to perfect my strategies a little bit more before I launch into them. I, I am doing a bit better than perhaps normal difficulty can handle right now, but like this quest makes you intentionally make a little bit worse of a character because elven fighters, elven berserkers, I don't think that's your, uh, I don't think that's going to be for the best. So let's look at Beginner Brigade. Something I haven't done. I need to be beat this starting dungeon with all four of the starting heroes. So I'm going to try that right now. Den of Danger, Beginner Brigade, select. We get a thousand gold for this, so that's awesome. Now, I want to go with something interesting. I've already beaten it with the Priest. I'm going to go with the Thief. I'm going to do something I haven't done. I'm going to play with my new Halflings. Uh, we've got so many options now. Look at all this. There's one god we still haven't unlocked. We can start with the fine sword, which we're going to do, just to make this an easier start for us. That means we can ignore this nonsense over here. And uh, do we want to bet on the boss or do we want to go black market? I'm going to go black market, not because I don't think I'm going to beat the boss, but because there is that quest to buy all of the items from the shops. And I feel like uh, Thief has the best chance for it, black market gives an even better chance. I could go with uh, more glyphs as well to uh, increase the chance of getting both Inda's wall and I'm a wall, which together I, I'm pretty sure will make it more likely. So let's let's put extra glyph out there. That way, it's more likely that we'll be able to buy all the shop stuff and make our shops better or whatever this guy gives us if we get all the shop stuff. Okay, halfling thief, den of danger. Let's play. Loading screen means time for my, my pre-dungeon run stretch. Ugh. Den of Danger, it's been a while since I've been here. I don't remember it being super difficult. Starting out excellently with uh, biceps and burning and some extra mana. This this could not have gone better unless without putting a level 2 guy right here for me to just kill. Because I can. I've got... Uh, Got the ability to do about 13 damage right now, plus 30%. I can go ahead and use biceps before I explore some more, since I have to anyway. 11. I can do 15 damage. Just right off. Without anything extra. Unfortunately, it looks like I'm going to have to kill a level 1 guy. And kill this one, since I have to kill one. And biceps again, since I'm going to explore. Alright, explore off this way. There's I'm a wall. Excellent. Good to get it early. Pick it up. This is a great start. I like this. Uh, when I find my level 2 guy, or maybe even level 3 guy that I'm going to kill, because now I have two Bernies, I will petrify first. Now, I'm not going to forget this shop's here, but I don't need a potion right now. Uh, end his wall. Perfect. So I should be able to buy all the shop stuff. Pick that up. Pick up this since it's lying there. Uh, there, and a shop. What's in my shop? The Badge of Honor. I'm going to buy it. I have to convert something first. Oh man, I don't want to get rid of anything. What is my least valuable thing here? Well, I'm, I've got to keep I'm a wall and end his wall. So it's either burned her ass or biceps. Hmm. Well, if I had... If I had less than 12 mana, I would go with biceps because I have more and I can burn twice. I'm going to keep burned her as and I'm going to get rid of biceps. 
maybe a bad decision, maybe not. Either way, I get a health potion out of it. Because I have to buy this. Badge of Honor, plus 10% damage. And I'll probably end up consuming that when I come to my next shop. Just keep buying up stuff. Look at all this money. Perfect. I need a level 2 enemy. I need one badly. Maybe even level 3. There we go. So this goat I can kill. Excellent. First thing I'm going to do, I'm a wall. And bang. I'm going to regenerate. And then, actually I didn't even need to regenerate. I'm just going to kill this goat. Yep. Going to kill him. Excellent. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit end his wall on my goblin friend. There we go. Extra cash. More exploration. I'm definitely looking for someone at least level 3 now. Suicidal Gaul. Stomp on my intestines. I understand you, Lord Gob. I understand you. Okay. So, continuing exploration. Away from Lord Gob, perhaps. Level 6 enemy. That's fine. Mana Potion. That's fine. I need a level 3 enemy. Somewhere. Maybe even level 4. Might be able to handle level 4. Picking up this. Level 5. That's a bit much, perhaps. How much damage can I do? I can do 16 plus 16 is 32. Uh, then I would have to move a bit. Of course, I could use Mana Potions to make this happen. Which might be worth it. Uh, that would be 16 plus 16 plus 8. So 40. 40 with no exploration. He's got 48 health. Hmm. Might be worth trying. I think it's worth it. With I'm a wall and everything else, and the fact that I can sacrifice stuff for health potions, I think it's worth it. I mean, worst case scenario, I have to use potions to make this happen. So I'm going to use this. Petrify her. Get my... Ooh. Have to kill you. Guy down here, I think. To get uh, a place I can explore. I got blocked off. Did not mean to. Oh, want to fight. That'll be useful. But not right this second. I'm going to kill this goat first. So first I'm going to burn him. Uh, wrong key for burning. I, I always try to use B for burning. I don't think fireball like I should. Okay. So he's burned and I can hit him. And he's down to 18. Now I can use this and I can burn him one more time. Which is what I'm going to do. Which brings him down to 12. Keeps on burning. Hmm. I'm very close to being able to kill him, but not quite. He does 25 damage. I have 6. I need to get above 25. That would be two health potions, which is crazy more than I have. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. On the other hand, two mana potions would let me burn him again. I need two more burns on him. So a mana potion and a health potion together would only do one. Six. A 14 plus four. 25. No. I'm going to go over and grab this Wanna Fight. I think that's okay. I don't think he'll completely heal because I slowed down his healing. Uh, pick up the Wanna Fight. Oh, I can't. It's a useful thing. Is it more useful than anything I have here? I don't think so. I think I need to keep the stuff I have. So I'm just going to convert it straight away so I have an extra health potion. I'm going to be doing a lot of converting, so I'm going to have lots of health potions, which is good. Uh, it's still death if I hit him, which is bad. I still don't have enough. I'm going to use one mana potion and fireball him. I am determined to kill him at this point. Uh, and a health potion here will allow me another hit on him. I hate doing this, but I'm going to. I, I want this goat dead. What the? How does he kill me in one hit? I could hit him earlier. What's different? My max health go down? I don't understand. I don't understand. Because I hit this guy earlier. 
I wasn't above max health, was I? Is it because he's burnt? I don't know. I don't get it. My max health is only 22. I can't kill this goat. Okay, I guess I can't kill that goat. I'll kill this snake then. I don't like it, but uh, that that's life, I suppose. Um, I need to explore before I can kill the snake, I think. I'm very upset about this. I do not understand how I was able to attack him before, and now I can't attack him. Let's see, does that leave him with 18? So I need to be able to attack the snake twice. Oh, I'm, I am upset. Okay. Wasted a lot of resources to fail, basically. Oh, I should, as a thief, attack before I use my, my stuff, shouldn't I? Mmm, I guess it doesn't matter that much. Ah, even the snake is posing a problem right now. I can hit him once, but he poisons me. I need uh, one more burning. And it's not looking like it's in the cards. This is kind of crap. I'm not doing what I should be doing right now. That's for sure. I need to kill something. I guess I'll kill this guy over here. That's something. Okay. Maybe I should focus on level threes. My head's not in the right place. Something's going wrong. I don't know what. But uh, I'm going to hit this guy and I'm going to burn him. And that will level me up. So I'll feel a little bit better about myself. Good. <sighs> I don't have much exploration I can do. Because I'm blocked off at a lot of turns. Can I kill this goat now? Yes. It would take two hits on him. But that's fine. Because I'm now doing 12 damage. Yeah. I can just burn this guy to death now. So first I'm going to... I'm a wall. Then I'm going to go over here and hopefully I can explore. Ah! Where is, is there any exploration available? 11. Crap. Did I waste an I'm a wall? I think I did. Uh, I'll kill her. Just so it's not a total waste. But there's no exploration anywhere, which is crap. Okay. Oh, and there's still no exploration. Uh, kill this guy, I guess, to get where I can move left. Alright, now there's some exploration around. I don't have any... Okay, I still have a good enemy. So I'm going to wall this guy. Explore to get my health back. Or my mana back, rather. Hit this goat and fireball him twice. And the second fireball, he's burning two, which means if I hit anyone, like this guy for instance, uh, preferably someone that I can can't kill in one hit, but I'll just I think I can just actually man he's got two. I've been told if I do anything, I don't want to get the extra experience from killing one of these things is the problem. Um, what do I do, what do I do, what do I do? I go over here, and I can't hit the goat again, explore a little bit more. I can hit the goat again. Good. And now I kill the goat. Level 4. Level 4 is good. There's already a level 6 and a level 5 available. 27. I can do 27. I can do... How much can I do? 32? So I can kill her. Who do I want to... I'm a wall. Well, the good thing is I have both I'm a wall and is end his wall, so it doesn't matter. I can, I'm a wall this per person here, and I can just get rid of him later so I can explore more, which is good. Uh, I'm going to have to move you out of my way. 
Oh, there's some exploration over here. Good. And I only need 12. So, get this lady, and then fireball. Fireball. Excellent. Okay, I am one away from level 5. I want to get something at least level 6. That would be nice. A little extra. That's good. What's in this shop? Pendant of Mana. I have to purchase it. What can I get rid of? My badge of honor is consumable. I'll use that. And I will purchase this Pendant of Mana. Which brings me up to 15. Not the best. Uh, I preferred my extra damage, but just trying to buy out the shops. And I will be able to buy out the shops, I think. Mm. On that note, is there anything... I guess I can kill this guy. This guy's a fine enough kill. Yep, and I can do it pretty easily. So I'm a wall. This wraith. Uh, how much does he have left? Okay, so I need a little bit more exploration. Oh, a goat. Very good, very good. I can kill the goat instead. Or maybe her. 44. Maybe not her. No, that might be a bad idea. I could waste my death protection on killing her, I suppose. It gives me lots of, uh, about 21 experience doing it. Is it worth it? Um, almost certainly not. So, I'll go with the goat. 27, yes, that's fine. One hit. Two fireballs. One more fireball. He has a little bit of magic resist going on, which is a problem. I see that that's what the uh, issue was earlier. But that's fine. I can... Uh, how much damage does he do? 33. I'll get myself just above 33. What's in this shot? Pendant of Health. Probably more useful than the Pendant of Mana. So let's... Uh, do I have the money? I don't at the moment. Safe to hit him, and I can burn him again after I do. So one hit and win. Level five, excellent. Um, now I'm going to go after this person. Level seven, or perhaps I should go ahead and go after Gabi. No, not yet. So you are next, my Gorgon friend. Thirty-seven. And I do 40. So, yes, I can do this to you. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to petrify this person. Uh, where's... I'm a wall. Petrify. I'm going to come over here. That's all I need, I think. So, one hit. And then two burns. And we have a dead Gorgon. And another level. I like leveling by just killing one thing. It's, it's quite excellent. Uh, at level 6 do I want to take on Gob? No, he does 90. 90 damage. And he has first strike. He's both physically and magically resistant. He's an annoying dude, my Gob friend. Uh, anything higher level than me on the screen? No. So I need to keep exploring. Hmm... Okay, I'll go down. I'll start um, getting rid of these guys. Picking up some cash. And another Indus wall. Here. Bit more cash. Hmm. Okay. Well, while I'm doing it, I'll Indus wall another one because I've got to explore anyway. And kill this zombie because he's just in my way from exploring hopefully I can move up here and find something interesting a shop shops are typically interesting I'll have to buy that eventually but not right now level 7 at least it's something 39 I can just kill him straight up very good he's safe he poisons me though uh, that's a problem I don't want to be poisoned uh, my only level 7 guy poisons me. And one I'm a wall will not be enough, I think. 
No, it will not be. So I need to go in a different direction. Um, about the only direction is through him. Well, I'm going to do this. I'm going to petrify him. Just because he's level 1 and kind of useless to me. I'm going to end his wall him. I'm going to go explore this way. I might be using up too much exploration here. I'm getting worried about that. Oh, a downstairs. That's nice. And a level 8 Gorgon, which might be nicer. Okay, let's go downstairs. Yes, a new god. I have been waiting to get into his wall when this guy is around. Alright. I'm obviously not going to do that too much. You touch the altar, it disappears, you feel different. Rumors abound of these nondescript altars showing up around the realm. Find as many as possible to unlock their full power. Oh. K? I don't know what that did. Here we go. Scholar's Pack. Negative 10 PD. Overheal. Slash. Might. Every level. I don't know what that means. Stone Skin. Oh yeah, I forgot about stone skin. That's useful. All right, let's go. Uh, okay, this person. I can hit them once. Forty-five. Forty-five. Uh, I need. Can I do how much? Forty-eight. So I can kill you. Do I have my extra XP thing? Yes. My next kill still has extra XP. So. I will attack you once. Oh, I need uh, I need mana first. Almost messed myself up again. I have a tendency to do that. All right, excellent. And you don't level me up, but you're close. You're close. So one hit. Fireball. Fireball. Excellent. Dead Gorgon Lady. I need to heal up. And good, I wasn't actually running out of exploration. I was worried that this was the top of the map. But it's not. Okay. Oh, and another thing. And a level 8 dude. Uh, Can't rightfully kill him, can I? Minus 10 PD. Overheal slash might every level. Don't know what that means, but I guess I'll find out next level. Uh, what's up here? Torog? No Torog. I don't know what this minus Tintahiti is all about when I level, so I, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill some stuff. I might come back to you. I might come back to you, Torog. You are you are a good guy. Pissorf. Sixty percent knockback. I'm just gonna get rid of this for a health potion, which is I've got lots of health potions, which is my saving grace, I think. Can I hit this guy yet? No, I can't. That's fine. So, I need to use I'm a wall. Petrify. This guy. And now I need to either kill this one or this one. Hmm. I think it's going to be this one. He has both. Well, first strike's not the big deal. What's the big deal with him is he doesn't quite go down below 48. I don't feel like using any health potions. This guy, on the other hand, easy kill. And he gets rid of a poisoner, which is important. Okay, so one hit. Fireball. Fireball. Dead snake, level seven. All right, so 91. I don't know what overheal means, or might means. I didn't lose any piety, did I? Weird. Okay. Uh, well, we've got our level 8 goblin now. And yes, we can kill him now. Which is good. We need to find a victim. You're a victim. Aren't you? Alright, so I'm a wall him. Which is excellent. Uh... Let's see. I could go ahead and end his wall him as well because he hides a bit of exploration. I'm gonna have to do it eventually. Good to know. Get my mana up above 12. 
excellent. Okay, guy. 45. I do plenty of damage. You die. You die. You die. Uh, do I want to start attack? I can't start attacking this guy yet. He does 90 damage. I can start attacking this guy. At least once. Actually, you'd probably kill him at level 8. If I was going to level up doing it. Uh, okay, a level 9 one. Can I kill him? It's difficult. I hate goblins. I really do. I do what? What is this? 56? Do I bring him below 56? No, I bring him to 68. I don't want to go for a, a level 9 anyway. A level 9 kill seems excessive. I just want to get close to leveling up. Which is what I'll do. I'll, I'll kill this zombie. Zombro. Uh, I can kill this snake without leveling up. Put me one point away from leveling up, which is where I want to be. Excellent. And now I'll full heal. Ooh, a couple more mana and I would be rolling in it. Okay. Uh, who can I kill without taking any damage? I can kill you without taking any damage. I can kill you without taking any damage. Excellent. So first I'm gonna I'm a wall right here. Then I'm gonna get a couple mana back because I only need two. And I'm going to go over to Lord Gob, check this out. One hit. Yep, and I'm safe. I don't lose my death protection. That's important. And then I could hit him again, but I'm not going to. I'm going to fireball him a couple times. Bernie, Bernie. Then I'm going to hit this guy, and yes, I win and I level doing it. I should have saved my I'm a wall. Whatever. Right, I'm now on level 8. I can get one more hit. Then a couple more fireballs. Oh, this is going to be closer than I wanted it to be. But that's fine, because I've got a huge number of health potions and mana potions. And I'm just going to kill you with my excess, basically. You hear that, Lord Gob? Alright. This isn't too bad. I need to get two more hits on him, and I can do so. So, I'm above level... Uh, yeah, I'm above 90 hit points. That's all I need to be. It's safe to hit him. I could hit him again right away, and I will. Just, I'll barely... When I need to remember, I no longer have death protection after I do this. Can't take it with you, right? Excellent. I don't want to leave this dungeon right now. I want to finish buying up all the shops. So to do that, I need to start using my Indus wall. Bam. Gold. Go to this shop. Buy the health potion. Go to this shop. Pendant of health. Uh, yeah, I need to convert some stuff. No longer need the Pendant of Mana. I, I don't feel like killing anything anymore, honestly, so I don't need Burned or As. Excellent. So, go to this shop, buy the Pendant of Health, immediately convert it, just get it out of my inventory. Bloody Sigil, don't have enough, which is fine. I can get enough. Uh, over here. Wait, what? Go ahead and convert it. I have my... I can do this. And I can convert this Gorgon into money. Come over here. Pick up some normal money. Pick up normal money. Uh, use I'm a wall on this guy. To get him out of my way. Use end his wall on him to pick up more money. 16. Go to the shop, buy. 
My entire purpose now is to explore and buy everything from all the shops. I need eight more gold. That's fine. Let me see. Go ahead and convert it. Pick up this. Uh, end his wall. This goblin. Pick it up. End his wall. This goblin. Pick him up. Go to the shop. Buy it. Alright, if there are no more shops, this won't be an issue. I am out of gold though. Okay, kill this guy. Get him out of my way. Please don't have any more shops. Just keep wailing. Get him out of your way. Oh, everything is in my way. Um, yeah, it doesn't really hurt me. Actually, I level up killing you, so... Actually, I can't kill you. Oh, I can just use a potion. Whatever. And, yes, I win. Hit level 9. Explore this way. Pick up a heart. Uh, there's the glowing guardian. That's fine. Would have been disastrous to use that guy. Pick up a mana potion. Excellent. I have bought everything from all the shops. I don't see any shops. I don't see any more stairs down. Make sure there's not a shop hidden right there. Okay. I should have pleased what's his doodle. The uh, shopkeeper Balthazar Bazar. Bazar is his name-o. Goblin Bone. Excellent. Exit. Ugh. Faithless is a new badge. Because I didn't worship any gods. I beat it with a new class. Loot was sold for 357 gold. I didn't carry out any with me. I thought I had a little bit of gold on me. You also got 70 for victory with a new class and a new badge. Look at all this stuff. I like all this stuff. Exit. I could have probably gotten Dean Max if I tried. Exit. And let's see what Bazar has for us. Quest complete. Dimensional dealings. Very nice. Bazaar is pleased. Now all it needs is a little cash deposit to upgrade your bazaar, and its tendrils will engulf even more of your plane. Okay. Goblin go bone for 300 gold. Alright, Bazaar. Upgrade for 600? Yes. Okay. Contrary to what one might imagine... Oh. Bazaar's grip in our world has strengthened, spawning six shops in each dungeon, happy buying. And a couple of preparations for us. Uh, a shop scroll, creepy looking parchment, which when read, will summon one of Bazaar's many tendrils to establish a shop on the player's current tile. So it gives you an extra shop, that's interesting. And apothecary. Bazaar can swallow the, an apothecary if you'd like, uh, giving extra access to potions shops and dungeons. So more potion shops. That's cool. Uh, let's look at our locker, see if there's anything we want to change out. I don't think there is. Troll heart versus initial plus 10 health. I'm going to go with initial plus 10 health. Bloody sigil. Mm, I don't like the minus 10 to damage. So I'm not keeping that. Alright, this has been Jay Plays uh, Indie Games with Desktop Dungeons. Thanks for watching.